Since global pop star Taylor Swift kicked off the Singapore leg of her era's tour, it's not just her surprise songs that have fans holding their breath. Her dancer, Cameron Saunders, has become a significant part of the show as fans wonder which singlish quip he'll mention during the bridge of We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. And on the last performance of the concert on Saturday night, Saunders closed off with Hannah Abud in, sending the crowd into a frenzy. It's unclear who has been teaching him these expressions, but Saunders has been pronouncing them with such an impeccable accent, netizens are clamoring for him to be an honorary citizen here. In case you missed it, here's a roundup of all the singlish words he has said, and for the overseas fans following live streams or clips, we even explained it for you. Night one. No law, the phrase basically means no and that you're clearly wrong. The addition of law simply changes the tone of what you're saying as it has no definition on its own. It's exhausting, you know, like, we're never getting back together. Now, ah. Night two means crazy in hockey in, and the phrase CO op means, are you crazy? It's usually used in response to something that is so absurd and ridiculous. You know, like, we're never getting back together. Now, ah. Night three. While out a translation of the phrase, which is in Hokkien, means, oh my father. We know it sounds weird, but the use of Singlish isn't so much based in the definition as much as what it means. While lao e is used to express surprise or disappointment, and can be compared to, oh my god. Night 4. Alamak, the Malay expression alamak, is used to convey concern, dismay, or surprise. There are a couple of definitions for this word, which can mean, oh my god, or mother of god, and well, it's used similarly to those. Never getting back together. Night 5. Wapiong it, it means what the heck, and is pretty much interchangeable with walau it, except it's more often used when the person is frustrated. Night 6, Hanner, Abu Din, this is probably the trickiest to explain because there isn't a direct translation for Hanner. It can be used to express some kind of frustration with something, or when someone is exasperated. It can also be used when in agreement with what was said, or to imply, yes. It's all about the tone and context at which it's used. Abu Din, on the other hand, is closest in meaning to obviously, or duh. Saunders clearly saved his most impressive singlish for the last night. Give that man a merlion already.